Hi everyone, welcome to Water Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, you're not, and today's replay features my old mate Tomark. Tomark from What University Clan, Tommy, in the Object 907. Now the Object 907 is a Clan Wars reward tank. You can only get this tank for doing well in a Clan Wars campaign. And um, you used to get them for free, then, but now you get uh, bonds as reward as well, and you exchange some of those bonds for this tank if you do well enough in a in a Clan Wars campaign. Now it's been around for a year, and it's generally a year, a number of years, and it's generally regarded as one of the better Clan Wars tier 10 reward tanks. It looks good. It's Russian. It's got that V wedge shape at the front of it. Tommy's already got a mark of excellence on this bag boy, and it, um, I reckon. He knows what he's doing when he's playing this thing. It's a tier 10 game, half tier 10s or six tier 10s and nine tier 9s. He's going straight up the hill of Malinovka. Nobody really coming with him though. Is he on a mission? He needs to block 4,000 damage. I'm not sure if he's going to do that in this game. Blind fires a bush over there where the Uda 16 was. Um, yeah, so he needs to block some damage. Let's see if he does it. Mm, not sure if he will. Zero zero is a score. He, he's Clearly looking at the minimap thinking, well, what am I going to do here? I'm not going to go all the way up this, um, I'm not going to go all the way up this um, hill all by myself and not uh, just get blown away. You can see his teammates, the FE215E183 Death Star. This is the one that was this that came out on the black market not too long ago, but prior to that, that 215B183 was the top tier British tank destroyer. Uh, now there's... Now there's two of them. Now there's the FE4005 and the Badger. The Badger is what replaced the FE215B183. And uh, it's a totally different tank. You could um, you could certainly argue that it is a totally different tank to the 215B183. It was known as a Death Star because it had these massive Hesh rounds that used to just um, absolutely demolish the enemy, especially if they penetrated. You could, um, you could, you could ruin people's... Anyway, no, enough about that tank. Um, enough about that tank. Let's look at the 907. The 907, the Clan Wars reward tank. One of the most popular. Most people who, who only have one Clan Wars reward tank, if they're going by what the best Clan Wars reward tank is, they'll get this one. I didn't. I opted for the Chieftain because I'm because I like the look of it. But most people go for the 907. Tommy, from what you is no different. And like I said, the way to get this tank is to um, to participate in a Clan Wars campaign. The most recent one was in January um, and it went for about two weeks and uh, Tommy asks his uh, Tommy asks his teammates, are we playing Are we playing the, the no move game at the moment? Nobody's moving. Look at the minimap. <laughs> the minimap is out of control. Tommy went to go to the top of the hill and I don't know what happened. There you go. He spots the object 430 over there. He spots the object 430. Uh, he zoomed in at an interesting an angle, but he's, he's spotted the object 430, zooming in and out, picks up the assisted damage. He's just got 1,800 assisted damage for the object 430. And that's, I'm guessing, that's the hit points of that tank. He's like, well, no worries, I'll just stay here. We'll see if we can do that again. Down by two tanks, one to three. Now, the other comments that we saw in the chat were not very nice words, but I guess there were people uh, expressing their... Lack of Im lack of impressionness of, of the tanks that uh, all the players or what they're doing because look at the players look at this the M103 looks like he hasn't moved the JPE100 who just got blown away by the by the Death Star of the enemy team they're down by one five and everyone's camping in this forest it's something it's you know, is that exciting and dynamic gameplay I don't know but um, Tommy is the most further the, the furthest person as close as he can to the hill he picked up 3382 assisted damage so far he's firing towards the um, T57 heavy the four shot auto loading american uh, a heavy tank which i'm guessing is on the reload cuz he's pulled right back the enemy team have the hill tommy from what you bounces a shot from the Udes 16 that's a T9 Swedish medium tank. He's just he's in he's here thinking what the hell is gonna happen here? Look at the minimap. Everybody cowers in the corner and it's well it's I don't know. It's embarrassing. There's some angry people in the chat. The JPE one hundred who possibly died without firing a shot is um is complaining about uh, the people calling him every name under the sun. Leopard PTA over here looking as we saw a couple of really good games by Leopard PTA players just the other day. This guy, I don't know, maybe he's looking at the cap. The M103 is backing him up. The artillery is nice and close to the water. Uh, the chat is 
not too not too um happy like people are saying gg team what the hell tommy even put in the chat well i went to the hill but nobody came nobody even moved from where they are now now tommy's got um He's got extra combat rations. That's going to help his view range. That's why he's getting so much assisted damage. He's already up to 5,051. He's also running standard ammunition, which is APCR in this tank. It's a 100 millimeter gun. 320 alpha damage, 264 penetration. 330 penetration with those heat rounds. Um, sitting here thinking, well, what, what's my next move going to be? All he can really do is uh, continue to spot. And he is, he is continuing to spot by sitting in the this bush normally when you see replays featuring uh, spotting damage in on Malinovka it's normally around the lake is it big enough to be called a lake or a pond I don't know Conqueror on one hit point gets taken out by the super Conqueror and now the score is two to five eight and a half minutes left on the clock I don't want to give too much away but this is going to go down to the wire two five is the score so they're down by three tanks they were, now they're only down by two they were down by four tanks not too long ago hopefully the team is going to be inspired hang on there's a bit of movement is that the super the super conquerors moving no he's not moving he is moving but he's moving backwards all right I thought he was going to maybe try to start playing the game Tommy continuing to spot these tanks there's the T49 he doesn't want the kill he doesn't want to shoot he knows if he shoots He'll get shot by all those tanks that are up on the hill, as well as uh, whoever else might be playing around this midsection. The enemy team have total map control in this game. Tommy, in my opinion, is doing the right thing. Um, the team isn't, and he did, and like, to, he might be sitting in a bush, but he did make the initial move to go up this hill. Sees the T-55A besides, now's the time to start shooting. Shoots and does not get spotted. So why not shoot again? Shoots him again for another 295 damage. At the same time, he picks up a 1,000 assisted damage as his teammates shoot the Progetto 65, bringing his spotting damage up to 6,500 hit points. 1622 damage done. The t the grill he's calling people useless. Well, the grill must have been... I don't know how the grill got killed. I don't even know where the grill was. But he's who cares? He'll be in his next game by now. Tommy looking at the T-57 Heavy, thinking, oh, if I can shoot him twice, I can get rid of a Tier 10 tank. That's why he taps a T key, requesting fire at the T-57. 5-8's the score. They got a bit of a comeback, and then they, then they lost it again. 1,622 damage done. There's the Progetto. He says, I'll just take it. I'll take the kill. Grabs his first kill of this game. Now, that, now they're only down by two tanks. Two tanks. Look, there could be two AFK tanks. Look at the mini-map. There could be two tanks back here. They could have a valid reason to push this hill, especially with the T-57 Heavy on 433 hit points. That's two shots for someone like Tommy. Uh, one or two shots for the for the Super Conqueror. The 50B could certainly kill him. Uh, the M103, maybe able to kill him with one shot. Um, and the other two tanks, the T-54 and the AMX-30, both T-9s, they're... Um, just around there where Tommy's aiming right now. 6 eight to score on Malinovka. Down by two tanks, 6-8. to eight. 1,700 damage done, 390 damage blocked, 6,500 assisted damage. At the start of the game, we saw our hero Tommy from what university charge up the hill, ready for a good old-fashioned fight, turn around, and no one had left the trees. Terrible. He would never teach this at what university. Thank you for mentioning what university, clan. I'm glad you brought it up. If you're new to the game, or even if you're not new to the game, you want to learn a little bit of um, stuff from them, check out their um, clan page. Link will be down below, as well as their Discord channel. Uh, every Wednesday and Sunday night, they do um, clanning, clanning? They do training sessions. Uh, one might be about game mechanics. It might be about maps. It might be about tactics and tanks. All that kind of stuff. It's done in a very professional but laid back way i attend when i can um as a lot of people know i do work shift work so sometimes it doesn't work with my roster but when i do i always learn something always pick something up and great bunch of people as well very welcoming very um yeah up for a good laugh sometimes i stream the training sessions sometimes i don't just depends you know uh, ravi streams it as well and um they between ravi and tomark they do an absolutely fantastic job so if you're if you're new to the game uh, or even if you're not new to the game and you want to maybe get better and learn a few different mechanics of how World of Tanks goes, check out what University Clan. Very, like I said, very, very well put together training packages. And um, there's another kill. That's it. That's worth it. That was a shot that's worth it. He still didn't get spotted. So maybe those medium tanks have retreated with a score on 7-8. But like I said, very professionally put together training packages. But, but 
it's, it's a laid back atmosphere. Non, they're not gonna. Nobody's gonna stat shame you or, or pick on you because you're a noob or, or new to the game. Oh, you only got. You only had five hundred games. Well, if you only had five hundred games, it would be perfect for you. And even if you're like me, you had forty something thousand games. Always pick up something. It's good. Even if you're, even if you're uh, good at the game, um, you might. Um, or you you'll definitely be reminded of a game mechanic or an idea of the of the of what. You might have used to do something which worked, and you might have forgotten about it. You've, you've, I hope that makes sense. I really do. Anyway, back to the game. Tom Hart from what university? An absolute legend. He's in the 907. He's just been dank here. He has been shot once. He has lost a little bit of his health. Th- their team, his team's down by one tank. Seven, eight is the score. Two kills to Tom Hart. Uh, 1,905 damage done. A little bit blocked. 7,722. As we've been sitting here talking about what university clan and all the wonderful things that they can they do to help the community, help new players... And have a laugh as well with um, old players and new players alike. And uh, they play a few games. They do a few training sets. I couldn't recommend it high enough. I don't know where that shot went. He did get spotted though. And now he needs to worry because there's an auto-loading American heavy tank looking at him. But um, the low profile of the 907 is pretty low. Like it's, it, if it was a car, it would be a sports car, the 907. It wouldn't be a big, it wouldn't be a big family car or a big like a people mover like the mouse might be or an E100 might be this would be the sports car this would be you know this, it would be a Ferrari or something it wouldn't be a it would be something pretty cool the 907 anyway the AMX30 decides it's time to come and play Tom Hart goes for the killing shot just misses the killing shot but again picks up more and more assisted damage bringing his assisted damage up to over 10,000 they finally get rid of the T57 Heavy as well as the AMX30 and now believe it or not they're winning by two tanks the score's 10, 8. Wow, I hope, oh dear, I hope people don't see this video and think, oh, that's a valid strat for uh, for the North Spawn. I don't know. Anyway, Tommy's saying, hold my beer, I've got this. Two and a half minutes left on the clock. I'm going up the hill. There goes the AMX 50B, killed by the object 704. I wonder what the hell happened there. Was he lit or is, it, is there a push coming from the, from the west? Maybe there's a push coming from the west. Tommy's flying up there. The Jag Tiger is pinging the map like he wouldn't believe. Something is possibly shooting the Jag Tiger from up on the map. Tommy's saying, well, I've got to get rid of this, this guy first. Shoots the T-55A for 294 hit points as the two-minute timer goes off. He finds artillery. Oh, he hasn't got much. You've got to shoot Artie, don't you? When you see him, you've got to shoot him. Gets a, gets a decent roll for 300 hit points. Blind fires towards where artillery was last spotted, but he's possibly rolled back down that ridge line. 10-10 um, the score now. Two friendly tanks just got taken out. Pretty bad. The grill, they're calling people idiots again. What the hell is happening here? What's left? Two tier 10 tanks on each team. Super Conqueror and the 907. We know the 907 is doing his job. Wonder how the Super Conqueror is going. He goes into the enemy Super, Super Conqueror and gets hit once. As his first day kick comes off the cooldown. Aim, shoots, bounces the shot from the Super or the tracks take the shot from the Super, super Conqueror. 389 hit points. Two more tanks go down. The artillery and what was the other one? The IS. I don't know what the other one was. I missed it. It's too... It's too the, the, the tension's killing me. A minute to go. 12 tens to score. Three enemy tanks remain. The FE4005 in the south, which is where Tom Ark looks like he's going for. The Super Conqueror in the north. Well, hopefully the Super Conqueror and the Jag Tiger can do something about him. He finds him. Sees him at the back. Shoots him once. Takes him down to 99 hit points. There's going to be a quick reload because it's only 100 millimeter and he goes bang. Straight into the side of the head. Thank you very much. And... At, some miracle the FE4005 gets spotted again Tom Hark shoots him the Super Conquer kills him and in the end he totally turns the game around from 1-5 to 15-10 all I can say about that game is what the hell was that let's have a look at the result before we um, wind up today's video not a great surprise it was an ace an ace tank a marshy badge from the old, Mark Tom, the old mate Tommy from what university the spotter medal for that assisted damage how much assisted damage did he do you'll see it again on the page too fire for effect five bonds patrol duty what are those tanks that he spotted and did damage to he, um, he certainly had a big hand a shout out to the Jag Tiger he didn't do too bad with nearly 5,000 damage and 4 kills but Tommy was the hero, hero of the day with 3,254 damage 3 kills 1538 base experience that's a base score that's without the, the the premium account multiplier or the daily double it was a times four event at the time that's why that's gone up to 10,000 experience and 
I know what Tommy's like. He'll have accelerated crew training on, and that will be training up that Object 907 crew like you would not believe. 23 shots fired. A few of them were blind fires, remember. Um, 15 hit, 12 penetrated, 3,234 damage, 2,000 of it from more than 300 metres. But even though he was sniping and shooting and killing these enemies, uh, he was still spotting. He spotted just under 11,200 hit points of assisted damage. That's what, that really contributed to that ace. Three, nothing wrong with 3,000 damage gain, but that uh, 11,000 assisted damage surely would have uh, contributed to that ace tank and mastery badge as well. It's nearly 65,000 credits as well. That's after tax with a premium account in that 14 and a half minute game. It must be said that that spotting damage, unlike damage done, when you when you do damage to enemy tanks, and doing damage to enemy tank, that's the object of the game, don't get me wrong, but when you're doing this damage, 3,000 damage, every shot you fire, you're paying for. When you're getting spotting damage, uh, and especially when you're getting 11,000 of it, it doesn't cost you anything, it costs you zero. And uh, that's one reason why Tommy had uh, those dank credits in that tier 10 game. He, um, did his job. He well and truly won the game for his team. The, uh, they, they were clearly, they had clearly given up. At the two-minute mark, the, the, the team had clearly given up. That's why they all sat in that forest, and I think it was pretty pretty poor form. Shout out, well done to Tommy for trying to climb that hill and have a real fight up there. And um, all the other players who told him to get stuffed and were cracking the shits in the chat, then, uh, well, hopefully they learn from it. Speaking of learning from it, don't forget, check out what university clan. They're awesome. They run these training. You don't even have to be in the clan. I'm not in the clan. I still go to the training sessions. I still pick up things every now and then. And uh, one thing for sure, I always enjoy myself. Once again, Tommy, thanks for the replay. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and see you all next time.